TRT and Hormone Optimization Group. This is Justin again, reporting from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And tonight, I want to talk about a peptide called MOTS-C. That's M-O-T-S hyphen C. This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. But first, I want to dedicate this one to Mr. George Cottrell. He's one of our moderators in our Facebook group. So just FYI, if you're not in our Facebook group, TRT and Hormone Optimization, please join. Myself and all the other providers are in there, and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions for y'all. So George is a fellow whiskey snob like myself, and tonight I'm having a little bit of Kentucky's Finest, Willet. So without further ado, let's talk about MOTC. MOTC is a 16 amino acid sequence peptide, and it's classified as a mitochondrial-derived peptide. MOTC is primarily found in skeletal tissue, also found in the blood, also found in fat tissue as well, along with other tissues in the body. MOTC is also actually being studied for its abilities in insulin sensitization. Uh, it can act as a glucose disposal agent. It can increase cellular survival. And it seems to be studied and implicated in weight loss. MOTC is kind of like a mitochondrial igniter. I kind of like referring to it as like Red Bull in a syringe because it gives you very good amounts of energy and you feel really good when you inject it. Currently, there's 37 known mitochondrial genes and two known mitochondrial derived peptides. One is humanin and the other peptide is, you guessed it, it's MOTC. So what does MOTC do? It's kind of like an adaptogen for the mitochondria. So when the mitochondria is under stress, the peptide is utilized in upregulating the mitochondria's genome. So MOTC's mechanism action actually has a few mechanisms of action. I just mentioned that it does have insulin sensitization and glucose disposal activities. This is through its expression and activation of GLUT4, which helps promote muscular uptake of glucose along with glucose disposal. Secondly, it can work through a pathway called the AMPK pathway. There's a commonly prescribed drug known as metformin, which is often used for metabolic syndrome, diabetes, type 2, uh, insulin resistance. Interestingly enough, metformin is actually found from the plant, the French lilac, but I digress. Anyway, metformin works through that same AMPK pathway, which acts as an insulin sensitizer and a glucose disposal agent. Third, MOTC actually works in the cellular processes involved in ATP, which thereby gives cells more energy uh, available for them at their disposal. Dosing with MOTC is pretty straightforward. Subcutaneous injection administered once a week at 10 milligrams. Easy peasy. Now, in terms of adverse effects, MOTC is pretty darn safe. Obviously, when you inject something, you run the risk of having injection site reactions. With any drug, you also have the risk of possible hypersensitivity reactions. Well, I did mention earlier that it does have some glucose disposal properties and insulin sensitization properties. Theoretically, hypoglycemia could occur. I haven't seen it occur in any patients, but I'm just saying theoretically it could. Also, it does give you good amounts of energy. So insomnia is a possible adverse effect of MOTC. I've had one patient report having mild palpitations while on it, but in terms of side effects, it's an otherwise clean drug, clean peptide to use. Guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in again. Until next time, if y'all have any questions, give us a shout. Also, follow us in our Facebook group. We'd be more than happy to welcome you. Y'all have a great night. Cheers. And now, give this video a thumbs up and go watch one of these videos to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.